Hi, my name is Colleen, and I'm an instructor here at the Los Angeles Maritime Institute. And today, we're going to talk about clouds. So, the first thing you need to know is that clouds are part of the water cycle. They form when warm air rises from the surface, it begins to expand, then the air cools and shrinks in the atmosphere. As this happens, water vapor will condense and convert from a gas to tiny droplets and ice crystals. On other planets, clouds can be formed of methane and sulfuric acid and ammonia, but here on Earth, they're mostly just water and small particles. Clouds form at the condensation level, which is a point where air no longer rises and begins to cool and shrink. We see clouds in Earth's homosphere, which includes the troposphere, stratosphere, and mesosphere. Cloud formation is affected by an assortment of factors, including geographic location, air temperature, particles in the air, and humidity. So it's possible to see a wide variation of the kinds of clouds we see in the different parts of the atmosphere. Now that we've got that covered, let's talk about cloud forms. In the study of clouds, called nephology, scientists classify clouds by genera and species, which can be subdivided even further into varieties. There are more than 15 cloud species, 9 varieties, and an assortment of features and accessories that further divide cloud types. But today, we are only going to focus on 10 basic cloud types and how to identify them. Clouds form at different sections in the atmosphere. There are high-level clouds, middle-level clouds, and low-level clouds. At the highest level, there are three kinds that we're going to talk about today. There's cirrus clouds, which are high-altitude, thin, and wispy-looking cloud streaks, and they're made of ice crystals. Then we have cirrocumulus, which are small, flaky, and white, also a high-altitude cumulus patches. And then we have cirrostratus, which are thin, transparent, high-altitude layers capable of producing a halo. So if you've ever looked up in the sky and you've seen like a ring around the sun, that's a cirrostratus cloud. Cirrus, cirrocumulus, and cirrostratus are the three cloud types found at the highest part of the atmosphere. And in general, these clouds are wispy looking, they're maybe looking puffy, and generally made with ice crystals. At the middle part of our atmosphere, we have altocumulus, which are these big, puffy, heap-like clouds, and they usually appear in groups or rolls. And then we have altostratus, which is like this featureless gray layer of cloud, and it usually masks out the sun. And then the third mid-level cloud that we have is the nimbostratus, which is a dark and featureless layer, and it's uh, responsible for rain and snow. Okay. So we've got altocumulus, altostratus, and nimbostratus, which are three cloud types found in the middle level. And a fun fact is that the nimbostratus cloud is actually um, a cloud that starts in a lowest level of the atmosphere, but it grows vertically up into the middle level. And then at the lowest level, we have four clouds that we're going to talk about. We have the cumulonimbus, which is this dark storm cloud, and it's extremely vertical looking. And then we have the cumulus cloud, which is low altitude. Uh, it looks very puffy. It's kind of like when you learn how to draw clouds in school, it's, it's what you think of. It's, it's, it's the big puffy sheep looking like clouds. And then we have the stratus, which is a gray featureless. It's just kind of like a, this gray blob, this nebulous blob of cloud. And sometimes it touches the ground. And then we have stratocumulus, which are these thick, puffy heaps of cloud that are usually connected to each other. So cumulus, stratocumulus, stratus, and cumulonimbus clouds are found on the lower level of the atmosphere. And it, you should know that cumulus clouds have the potential to grow vertically into the middle level. And cumulonimbus clouds are the only clouds that it extends into all three levels, though usually the base is at the lowest level. Okay, now that we know the basic forms of the clouds, we're going to talk about identifying them. So what I like to do is I like to think of them in five different groups. The first group, we have layered clouds, and there are three of them, stratus, altostratus, and cirrostratus. Now these clouds can be described generally as featureless blanket cloud layers. And each of these clouds are found at different levels. So you got to look at like the thickness and the color and the density and the shape. Okay. The next group are heap clouds, which are cumulus, 
alto cumulus and cirro cumulus. These clouds are all puffy and again found at different levels. The third group that I like to think about is the combination between the layered and the heap clouds, which is stratocumulus. They're low level clouds, they fall somewhere between a cumulus and a stratus clouds, so they're usually alone and have a lot of characteristics that make it unique. So if it looks kind of like a stratus and also kind of like a cumulus, it's probably a stratocumulus, which is the two. My fourth group is rain clouds, precipitation clouds. So those are cumulonimbus and nimbostratus. These clouds are pretty easy to pick out. Um, if, the if it's raining, you know, if there's precipitation, there's probably a chance that it's one of these two clouds. So that makes it really easy to identify. And generally, if it's a storm, lots of wind, lots of rain, maybe thunder and lightning, it's probably going to be a cumulonimbus. And then the last group are wispy clouds, and those are cirrus clouds. They look like mare's tails. They look like just streaks of cloud in the sky. And cirrus clouds are high and feathery. So if you, you're looking up in the sky and you see these like wisps of cloud, that's probably a cirrus. So anyway, that is Cloud Spotting 101 from Lamy. And I highly recommend that you grab a friend, make a little picnic basket, go find a field and spend your afternoon identifying clouds. For more cool stuff, check out our YouTube channel, and if you want to come sailing with us and check out some really cool maritime clouds, you can check out our schedule at www.lammytopsail.org.